Welcome back. This is only, I mean, it's only like a few hours. Not even a few hours after I recorded the last one. I don't think there's anything else to do. The, the, um, the cutscene sound effects should be back because I just tested something. Like I just played on the other save that I have, which is pretty much doing the exact same thing as this one except for different skills, basically. And it had sound in that one, so if there's no sound, this moves spots, I remember that, I think. So if there's no sound, then it's something to do with this save and not actually, um, the way I launched it. Because I launched it in the same way and the sounds work out. But we're going right back into it. Uh, oh, everyone's new on the team except for her. So I need to make everything available. And actually set everyone's, uh, class again. You have armor. You're very soft. So I'll give you the extra padding. And we have a lot of these now. I think we'll make his shotgun similar to. Uh, I don't know if auto loader. It might make more sense to give to her at this point. A hollow scanner. We, we know we want you to have grenades. So we'll give you a ceasefire. We'll give you both the grenades, actually. And the frag grenade. Oh. Ceasefire. Oh, you can only carry one grenade at a time, I guess. So, for you, then, we'll give the frag grenade. And for you, we'll give... We'll give you the ceasefire, actually. And then... We'll give you the med kit. Actually, who has the best mobility? 10, 10, 9, 10. Okay. I was trying to see what the best mobility besides terminal because they you have to be close when you use the med kit. Scope, stock, you're getting the impact frame. You have a close range weapon. Uh, you're gonna put out all the way. Oh wait, aim. Her aim is 75. His is 82. So yeah, it makes more sense for her to have that. Wait, yeah, 82. Okay. But that puts her at 85 overall, so I'll give her the targeting system next, and then give him the auto loader, and him the advanced stock. And then we still have the mock weave, which game plus 30 dodge. Yours is zero, zero, zero. Everyone's dodge is zero. You're still pretty. Well, you got the extra padding, which grants one HP, so. We'll give you the, no, because you already have the armor, so you have plus to armor. So we'll give you the mock weave since you're a healer. And the hollow scanner, I feel like it makes sense to go with her since she's so tech based. It seems pretty high tech, I guess. Give you some trank rounds. Uh, the breach charge can go with Claymore just because it matches his whole set overall, really. You have Trank Rounds, Frag, Trank Rounds. You don't have anything. Maybe I should give the med kit to him, though. Because he won't be able to get... Now, that's when we use her thing. Yeah, so I guess you'll get Trank Rounds, too. Really doesn't matter if we kill or knock them out. I don't know why I was actually worried about that. Because that was the only reason why I was going back and forth with the Trank Rounds. Yeah, there's the sound bag. I wasn't too bad on the little sound effects I did. Welcome to City 31's not so hidden Advent Bunker. A witness spotted Sacred Coil poking around down here. If they give you trouble, poke back. Okay. That's a weird way to say that. Oops. Alright, surprise. Successful shots on enemy stand to breach full stun. All units entering here get plus 25. What you call it? No one has the Infiltrator Weave, that's what it was. I thought the Mach Weave did the same thing that the Infiltrator Weave did, but I was wrong. That's, you know, oops. Oh, hang on. That's, you know, it was guaranteed to land their shot. I think his weapon does the most damage here. Because these two carry assaults. He carries the Enhanced Shotgun. We haven't bought the Enhanced... Um... How many, how many encounters is this? It's three encounters, so we don't want to start with that. Bridge and then Claymore. All right. It's go time. Yeah, but we haven't bought her enhanced thing, and we haven't even researched the enhanced assault rifles. It's an android and an android. We have 100% here, so we might as well take that shot and take it out, hopefully. Or not, I guess. 
Do you have the hollow targeter? I don't remember. So levitate can... Verge can levitate enemies to negate uh, their cover bonus and cancel any breach behavior of aggressive or alert. Okay. You have a 90 here. So those two at hollow targeters. Let's take out the alert enemy. And then you'll take out that. I wonder if it's possible to finish a whole room in one breach point. I guess it all depends on the clearance in that room. Alright, let's move you up over here. Of course the one who moves the slowest ends up the furthest away from everyone. But that's whatever. If Commander the 71. I thought I could be able, might be able to shoot that barrel, but it looks like not. Full cover bonus, but we did hit, so he's hollow targeted. Is he gonna shoot right over the box at us? No. Okay, I was gonna not say that sense. You can use chain jolt. That's the nano uh, healing thing. Reprogram? No, oh, I guess we did. We did take out the robot. Okay. So we just fired the weapon then, right? Or I could subdue, which is a guaranteed kill? Yeah, it's guaranteed. Arrested another target. Alright. Oh, there's someone else out there. Ah. Ooh, that's not good. Alright, let's put you in a stupor. Hopefully, get the two stun. Only a one. That's not bad. That means they can either fight. Ooh. Hello? Fire weapon? Okay, there we go. I don't know why I was doing some weird stuff there. Hopefully, it's not gonna glitch out on me. Alright, let's see what's happening next. Sacred Coil is putting up one hell of a fight for an empty bunker. We're missing something. I'm gonna contact City Archives. They may have more detailed records than HQ. Give me a sec. All right. I guess it was a good thing that I poured in the uh, that I poured in patchwork because all units entering through here get plus three mobility. Last unit through this entrance has the weapon disabled. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing I brought in patchwork because she's useful here since they have a uh, tech that can be hacked. The weapon is disabled. Hmm. Either Verge or Patchwork would be good to go through last. Uh, and I think I'm gonna send Verge through last. Moving in. Because his psionic ability can force someone else to shoot. Okay, alert. We have a lot of alerts, so it's gonna be a lot happening right after this. I like how the echo and effect does, but maybe it lasts a little bit too long. Sometimes that was not that one didn't last too long actually. I guess it's the volume. All right, you only did two damage. We could spread the damage out, or we can take that. We can try and take this one out. I think I want to spread it out some. I, I mean, some. I mean, one is better than zero, I guess. Hmm. Maybe Verge isn't the best for this setup. Maybe he should have been in the last one because we can't hack those things at all. You have a grenade, don't you? Yeah, throw a frag grenade. Can we get it to... Okay, you're definitely too far. Where's number two at? Tossing frag. I'm pretty sure the grenade doesn't take an ability either, which is a good thing. Sticky grenade. I, I definitely want to play with that some more. Claymore throws a grenade that adheres to an enemy, causing them to fall back to a new location. When the unit stops running, the grenade explodes. Four time cooldown ends the turn. Ooh. If it falls back, if it falls back in that direction, it ends up next to them. I could take both of them out at once. Might as well play around with it and see how they move once they're stuck. Oh, that's cool looking too. That's not. That's not how I thought they would move. That's definitely not falling back. So I'm glad we checked that now instead of when we were a little bit closer to an enemy. Close, but Let's still see. a miss. Why is it? Oh, okay. Can we can't shoot at that, so that means they can't shoot at that. Headed worm needed. Let's move up somewhere. Stay behind cover. And we can go ahead and take them out. I think it's giving me that wider range because when we kill them, they'll blow up. Because they are their uh, self-destruct. Could potentially reprogram them, but I don't think there's a point to. 
If I use the chain jewel, that should kill, right? She can send in her drone. I like how they look different too, because they very easily could have just made them look exactly the same. But hers is definitely like a more soothing look, as hers is more. Well, it looks more like it would do damage. I, I guess know probably what sacred coil is after. Would anyone care to guess? A personal scout ship with racing stripes. Yeah, a defunct mech repair bay, which, according to these power readings, is currently very funked. Interesting. It's given us a lot of these uh, event entrances, even though we don't have that thing. Successful shots will create. Ooh, if we're doing that, then we want to put Terminal and Patrick through first. Uh, actually, then uh, we can't lead with her, but okay. Verge and Claymore. You two don't. They, you guys don't have breach abilities. Not valid it in for this breach. Okay, so. Open sesame. That didn't go far at all. I better have marked everyone. I'm gonna be mad if they didn't. If it didn't. Okay, that android's aggressive, so we're gonna try and take that out. All right. Everything else here now doesn't matter as much because I think crits will kill anyways. Yeah, so everything's going down pretty smooth right now. Uh, the only thing left is between the purifier and the commander. If we hit on the, they have the same percentage, right? When we hit on the commander, we'll take him out. Okay. Not what we wanted to see, but I guess it's, it's whatever. Mech's coming online. Destroy the control system before they all wake up. Okay. Am I better off just shooting at this? I might be. I take out. I can use those two's turn to shoot at it. Or I can use pin down on number two. And then get three shots on it back to back without having to worry about the enemy's turn. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So. Now, you're gonna shoot it. Can Patrick use her thing on it? Her... Chain jolt. No, okay. No, she can, right? No, she can't. That's firing the weapon. And then... You can use Battle Madness on the Purifier. Show them how you feel. That way he might do some damage over to the uh, commander and take them out, or commander, whatever his name is. Or, or nothing. Or nothing. That's fine too, I guess. And take this thing out, because I don't want to do any sort of activation of the mechs or anything. It says Berserk remove. Maybe he does his we weapon advance. doesn't work to Berserk. You better not get no move right now. Alright, that's what I say. Sorting the herd. Yeah, miss That's shots. a miss. Okay. Yeah, okay, so he still has the frag grenade. It'll do three to four damage. So we can take them out with this right now. Frag out. Drop the target. It was the training. Explosive out. Good angle. I see it. And then he can shoot that right now. Which would deal that damage guaranteed and shred armor? I can't remember if that thing had armor or not. And subdue. So I was gonna say just give me a clean, cause I'm just gonna use subdue again if I uh, if Patrick got his turn. So yeah, that's a clean mission in our introduction to the sacred coil. They didn't seem too bad right now. If I can double up patchwork, then it'll be easier too, because she can hack some of this stuff and bring it to our side. Okay, I need a better candidate, Bradford. Seasoned XCOM soldiers aren't good enough, Kelly. They're perfect soldiers, but reclamation agents aren't fighting a war. They're keeping the peace for everyone. Ever. You expect XCOM soldiers to trust alien squad mates just like that? John, I struggle with leading the people I used to fight, but I need candidates who accept the world is changing. Transcript of Reclamation work, Working Group Meeting 2038, August 24th. City Anarchy has risen to one. Why? If Sacred Coil went after mechs, they need soldiers. 
But for what army? They were underground until Mayor Nightingale's election drove them to the surface. Their hatred for her gave them motive. Find out if Sacred Coil had the means to carry out an assassination. Well, it is our reason for being here, I guess. So, yeah. Oh, she got a promotion. What she got? Have you noticed the growing amount of violence in our city? I have, Gorgo, I have. Makes me wonder if 3-1-PD knows how to do its job. That's a bold statement, Roger. All I'm saying is that it didn't used to be this way. Not when Shrike was keeping the peace. Oh, come on. Mercenaries make bad police. Everyone knows that. Maybe you're right. But at least there was peace. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with the armor one. I'm great safeguard to provide plus one armor to the to protect the units. Um, again, healing yourself herself is more of a selfish move. And plus, we usually been, we haven't taken that much damage yet, so I'm gonna bank on not ever taking that much damage. Reclamation links Sacred Coil to a variety of City 31's missing persons, all human. Stop these human abductions and recover them from Sacred Coil. Time is of the essence. Interesting how we keep getting these kidnapping type uh, scenarios. Okay, let's do that. There's an emergency here. It'll bring down the city anarchy. Damn, that's a lot of money right there that I'm getting, having to miss out on. From uh, mismanaging our city, basically. Okay. Get extra situation rewards. And that's for having one or more field teams at rank three. We don't even have all the field teams we can yet. One, two, three. No, wait. One, two, three credits. One, two, three tech. One, two, that one. I think that one's actually a tech symbol. So I guess we've got to build the last one. And then we'll keep, we can focus now on leveling them up instead of uh, trying to buy new ones. But this is the obvious one to take on. DNA chrysalids, DNA chrysalids are present on this mission. What time is it now? 17 minutes in? Okay. Let's see. You're still in progress. You'll bring in 100 credits when you're done. Uh, let's see. Enhanced SMGs is coming soon. But I think I want to do... I might... <laughs> it's annoying that I'm finished that research first and then got Patrick right after. Because I think Patrick here is an assault rifle. So we have Verge back on the team. I know he carries an assault. And then Patrick also carries an assault. Your weapon doesn't matter. You don't matter. Or your weapon doesn't matter. Okay, so we have one sub on the team, two assaults, and, the, and a shotgun. So yeah. Whatever. Alright, let's get into this one. And this will bring down District and Rest by 1. And Illyrium. Give us 35 Illyrium. I don't know what happens if we don't do these ones, though. What does it say? I said it's going to be difficult. I want to see what happens if we don't do that one. This is going to go up by two if we don't do it. But I do want this money instead. Uh, sure. So now, now what's happening? Okay, it just goes away. It just... It's hard to imagine the horrors of the progeny activating that psionic contraption in our city. To think of the loss of life at such a large scale and without warning? Yeah, not to mention the greater threat of an army of untrained psionics. Certainly they would have been viewed as victims of an attack, not a threat to be neutralized. Thankfully, Roger. We don't have to find out. I couldn't agree more, Glorgo. Alright, so not doing those situations it doesn't seem to be that bad overall, but we do need to watch a... Uh, District Unrest, this one's getting kind of high for no reason at this point. Uh, but we're going to go into this one. I feel like it gives the Plasma Grenade is going to be more useful. Plus, it'll bring this down to zero. I don't think it's going to push it up, is it? Well, both of them are going to get pushed up. But this is going to put it at zero, which is better than anything else, really. I don't think we have anything new, do we? You can't take anything extra. And friends, we don't have anything new. Therefore, here we go. Right back into the next mission. It hasn't given us anything towards the uh, next investigation. Device located. Mission. Destroy that target. So we just got these side missions for now. Entering through this here marks your unit until the end of the encounter. 
Yes, you need to do this last. You need to do this entrance has an extra action point. He sees an extra action point. I guess we're gonna send Verge through last. Claymore. Then terminal. Pa patchwork. Verge. Alright. Moving in. Ninety-nine percent chance it's a turret. I might want to take that turret. I want to try and take the turret actually. Take a shot on you again. And take you out the way. The command, commando. Yeah, that's what it's called. Critical shot, full cover. That kept him safe. All right, let's see if we can take it out with this shot. All right, cool. Targeting system. And then those two hunkered down, okay. Alright, let's see what we get into now. Clear container maze, locate the assembly, stop the hostage taker. Okay. That thing can't move. You can, though. I'm still trying to see if this will force them back on themselves. The first thing we can do is try to get all of them. I'm trying to get both of them in. Let's see. He's in there now. How big is this range? It's a three by three, so I don't think I'll be able to get them in either way. But I can blow up that thing, shred its armor, if it survives it even, and then break his cover. All right, and then we'll go straight into shrapnel actually, which is an even bigger range. And I don't think we're gonna be able to see that from here, but maybe on the next person's turn we'll be able to shoot it. Where's this at? Yeah, that works out. All right, it's... Interesting to see Verge just turn, so I'm definitely glitching right now. Um, why is it Verge just turn? Oh, he has an extra action. I did send him through last, didn't I? Alright, so stupor on... Can't do that to a turret. I can't see you. So you can either take the shot on the turret, or I can shoot that thing. I'm gonna do that, actually. That we can get that little bit of damage on the uh, number four person. Let's move over to this side. 100% chance here. I'm going to take that shot. Just in case we can't take it over, we have some damage done to it. I think everyone has pretty good uh, cover, right? Interesting how he's marking it still missed. Not upset though. Let's see, what's our chances of reprogramming this? 75%? Uh, okay, let's try it. Overloading target. Cool. Alright. And then we want to. We can move her up again. We can use chain jolt on you. Bring the hostel. Did some damage. That doesn't end my turn, does it? I think it did actually. Yeah, it definitely did. Close, but still a miss. Okay, so now it's safe to move him up some more. Let's hopefully get a stupor off. Okay, alright. Well, if I can't see the other person, then I'm gonna go for battle Unleash madness on you. You berserk. Now take out the purifier. Obliterating. Yeah. Yeah, that works out. That's why I'd be fine with him losing his turn, because every turn he could uh, use battle madness on someone to potentially get them... I right, get another shot off. Okay. What is the turret's turn? I could take out the turret. I can move closer on them, can't I? Can I 
Can I use the turret as cover? I can't. I can't use this as cover. No, not that. Let's go for this shot here. There we go. Clearing the board. Cool. I guess when it's something hacked, it automatically kills it since it is technically an enemy. So that makes sense. That's easy. Good to know. Also, too. Are oh, you interested in this entrance? We get plus fifty dodge. See Lydia lasting him through this. There's a bonus of three damage. Okay. So we want. I think we want terminal to go through last here, and patchwork to go right before her. That way, Patchwork can potentially mark someone and then Terminal can take them out. Because I think Terminal also has a scope. I can't remember. Okay, you're aggressive too, so we're definitely going to take that shot. Somehow you have a better chance to shoot the dude who's behind two different things to cover, but... Oh well. Let's go for this. I didn't kill, but I'm gonna worry about that. I don't know if I'm gonna worry about that. Because it only has one health, but I don't want it to do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, actually. Which means someone shot in there was a waste. I think it would have been Patrick, actually, who's I thought would have been helpful to have there. This targeting system thing that the, uh. We're here for that target. Blow it to smithereens. That that thing can do is really annoying, actually. Alright, who's up next? Number two is you. I think that should that should do damage to all of that, right? It might not reach actually, I'm not sure. Hopefully Hit. you again move Catch. away from us, since that's what falling back means. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Last time. Nowhere to run. We're getting lucky with their misses too. I think I don't know if it's the cover or what, but I'm not complaining. Either way. Alright, let's see who we can hit. We can get you a battle madness. It says you're a necromancer though, so you might have some sort of psionic um resistance. I guess not actually. I guess it's just the name. Ooh, take that out for me. Ooh, whichever one. I thought it was going to hit the uh, this thing right here. That's fine too, though. It's a little bit annoying because we could have taken it with um, patchwork, but it's fine overall. We need to get these assault rifles leveled up because it's not looking good with them. They do so little damage and they can't really do any. Ooh, Spectral Zombie. That's cool. Oh, zombies with an S. Hmm. Chaining Jolt. It'll hit all of them if I hit either one, any of them, right? Well, I'm gonna take out the main dude because hopefully if I kill him, the rest of them will go down too. The to mental effects. That's fine. And then yeah. I, yeah, so those two are gone. So she essentially got a triple kill right there. That's pretty good. Alright, you cannot keep me down. Damage, but that's not bad either. Oh, there's a commander in there too. I almost forgot about him. Can we take him out clean right now? It'd be nice if we I was gonna say it'd be nice if we did. Traversing. Okay. okay, you can take the shot. I guess not actually. How can you not see that? Whatever. Throw a frag grenade. Yeah, let's throw it right there. Frag out. Alright, their armor got shredded. Alright. Uh slurry factory. So now I just need to hit this shot and I should be able to leave, right? Target dropped. Yeah, right, good shit. Great hit. That was another little quick one. Only Claymore got shot, and only for a little bit too, so that's pretty good. 
also I'm playing by myself. I think I'll have the difficulty up a little bit more because Cherub got a scar in like the second or third mission that I played. No, it was definitely like the ninth, but whatever. So after completed our spec ops, so that's morning in. Godmother has more dodge and all that, and then we have side grenades now too. The epidemic known as the Fade has reached City 31, concerning many of our hybrid residents. Next Gen, a local medical research facility, sought to reassure the public. We will find a way to treat this disease, but it will take time to develop a cure. Some hybrid citizens are unimpressed with the lack of progress. The Fade affects us. Only us. The gene therapy clinics could solve this. Open them back up. More as it develops. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. Let's go ahead and keep Godmother in there. Uh, so, um, Petra got her, um, her level up. Reduces city anarchy by five. Next thing you buy at the scavenger market is free. We have the scavenger market here now, actually. Motile inducer? The motile inducer artificially stimulates the nerve system, allowing an agent to act rapidly under pressure. Target has gained two action immediately. Does not affect the target's cooldown. Miss shots do at least three damage. Advanced auto loader has two reloads, two free reloads. Yeah. So Patrick's um thing there allowed for her to essentially have a hollow scanner on her um droid. So now I want to go to the we have a turn code. Force all affected enemies to go berserk and view their allies as enemy units. Mechanical enemies are immune. Uh I want this. Definitely want that. Alright, let's see what else we got going on. We can buy the enhanced uh SMGs now. So I'm gonna do that too. We've already set our next um upgrade thing. So I don't think we have anything else in here that we want to buy. Maybe the infiltrator weave, but I'm not sure. Agent can use vents. It doesn't tell me what the adaptable the adaptable passive ability is, so that's kind of annoying. That's the only thing there. I've already put Godmother back into training. Zypher is still uh here. So, we're starting to get into some higher level things, so maybe, uh, sanction cooperation might be helpful. I don't know, though. Maybe we want to get some higher level, uh, field teams, too. So we'll do the, we'll do this one for Intel. Begin, because we have a lot of money coming in now. What's today? Tuesday? So, not close on that. We get more Intel there. We have a decent amount of Illyrium, so I think it's only used to build stuff, so that's actually... Probably why we have such high amounts of it. So, uh, requires one or more field team rank three, reduce city anarchy. Oh, yeah, cause, because we have one field team by um, lower city anarchy by one, plus one if rank two field teams are present in every district, plus two if. Okay, so. We want to start leveling up our field teams is basically what it's saying now. Minus one district unrest for completing situations. Well, I want to do this one then. I'm going to level this one up. Ooh, that's going to put it at level three. I can't even afford that actually. But it should bring it down, right? By a little bit from the field team that's already there. And one, 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 two. So we have a rank two technology. So I guess I'll like, upgrade this one for when we get around to doing this mission. So now we have a rank two security as well. And then we we'll go ahead and do this mission, right? Is everyone doing something? Yeah. Okay. Spec ops unlocked. Oh. Reduces unrest in all districts by one. Uh, select a unit, Zypher. Yeah. We're gonna switch you to that actually. Oh, I can't, you can't cancel them when they're in progress? That's annoying. Wait. This. Begin. Okay, cool. And now we're ready to go. 
Yes. I didn't read this stuff for that, damn. The world you live in, you know it does not fit what we were promised. A life without pain, clean city centers, an order to the world that made sense. But now, the zoo is run by the animals, and they're content to smear the walls. Oops. Do not adjust. Do not change. For now, you walk the bonded stair. I don't even know what that dude means by whatever he just said. But at this point, we're starting to get uh, our unrest is starting to get a little out of hand in all of these districts. This one offers us an epic pistol, and this one is offering us an epic submachine gun. I think the easiest thing to take would either would probably be the pistol, right? Two assaults, because we only have we only have one person with either one. So really, it's which one do I think I can pull down easier? Freeze the district, reduce city anarchy. All right, let's go into this one. Let's get the epic. Let's get the epic. Reclamation's pistol. primary goal is to actually chairs went on a break. Yeah, no, let's, let's do, do it. World harm. On occasion, that means confiscating a powerful weapon from someone willing to use it against you. Yeah, because we just got enhanced SMGs too. So let's do, let's do this. All right, let's get into it. And Good tip. Looks like the hostiles have a weapon on our list. All right. Hard to hit. Deal one less damage during the breach. Uh, how many encounters is this? One encounter? All units entering through this one get plus three mobility. Go ahead, claim more. All units entering get plus to a defense. It's going to be verge. All units entering through here get... Plus three mobility for one round. Hmm. I'm gonna put Claymore through this one actually because he has more health and more armor. So he's if something goes terribly wrong there, then he'll still be fine. Enemies deal one less damage during the breach. So we'll give terminal this one. And no, we'll give terminal this one. And patchwork this one. Can she throw the thing in there? Uh, cause okay, so we don't get any breach. Uh, oops, We're we don't get any in. breach uh, abilities because That's each person me. is breaching on their own. So they have to break. The, well, in this case, break the glass. Uh, so they can't throw something in. Okay, that was a weird little transition. Bombardment or turret is right behind us. I don't. I don't even know want to know. I can lift you up, so I'm gonna go for the turret. I'm gonna levitate them. I see a neonate chrysalid in the back too. I didn't equip that new grenade that I bought. Damn. I just realized that. I was rushing into this one. Alright, let's take this out. And 93 other chrysalid. It's a lot of chrysalids around actually. Okay, so that's hollow targeted. We have a lot of chrysalids. We're pretty much in the middle of this too, is the worst part. Okay. Where's our target? It said. Dude said there's our target. Recover endless brevi bre brevity. Okay, and they have it. Okay, all right. A ceasefire grenade disables all firearms in the affected area. Does not cause an ac action. It has none of our people highlighted in all of theirs. Throwing grenade. Just gonna disable his weapon real quick. I don't know if it's a shotgun or what, but we're not gonna find out either. I'm gonna do most of our damage to them. Zapping actually. the target. Illuminate. The camera's going real weird, like, right now. Okay. Ooh, that is... Okay, that's cool. Close. I'm fine with that. I don't know why that one's running. I've never seen them... Oh! And then that's going to turn into a, a fucking chrysalid thing. So I think what happens is when they attack something, it, uh...
its will Show become a chrysalid. I'm, I'm not sure about what a chrysalid is necessarily. Hold this thing turns around and hits that. And doesn't shoot up. <sighs> this helps him out. Whatever. Stupid. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, so what I did was I used Berserk on them to try and get them to... Um, okay, why are you going after her? Stay with us. Okay. Um, use team up on her. And then you can shoot them, but they're number six. Actually, it might be better to shoot them. You do five to seven damage, so if you do max damage, you'll kill, and you have a high chance to crit also. All right, cool. Let someone out. Don't want to see what they got going on. You can use the nano thing, but I don't know if we need to do that just yet. This will change the damage to uh, a bunch of other stuff also. This will take that chrysalid out, so we're going to do that. The neonate chrysalids are the ones that I think cause uh, stuff to to transform, like that thing back there. I didn't see what it was called when it fell down, so I can tell you right now. Whose turn is next? The number two chrysalid is next. When you safeguard on patchwork. Get her that extra thing since it seems like everything is trying to kill her right now. I'm gonna take the shot. I have 100% on that. 4 to 6 damage. That's, I don't know what it's gonna do, but I might as well shoot it. Better right? you than me. I think it's gonna. It was gonna transform. Stop moving, please. Stop moving. Oof. It didn't connect. All right. Battle madness. I don't want to battle madness these. That's the only thing that I will say for sure. If I use battle madness on that, it's likely to just hit patchwork since I, actually i don't even know why four damage there i am hit but still standing all right these chrysalis the is going to be a problem who's turning it now you you're not going anywhere um i don't want to use that ability because i don't want anything to end up running right back into us you didn't die well that's annoying all right I want you to get up here and secure what we came to get. Uh, does not cost an action. So let's use this now too to heal Verge back up to full. And then you're gonna dash over to here and pick up what we came for. Okay, in this brevity we recovered. And then we have to clear the factory. We use cooperation for Patrick. She's the closest one to that neonate chrysalid. So we should be able to uh, take a clean shot at it. Although you have 100% on them. Yeah, we can't actually do anything to it. So that's annoying. Unless we hit it with subdue. But its turn is next. So we don't really want to do that. So we might as well just take this shot here. Yeah. That's annoying. I thought she would have had an angle. What are you doing, Verge? You cool dog? Oh, no. It's been weird this whole episode, though. I can't even act like... I didn't uh, expect this a little bit. Good? Yeah, okay. I don't know if we're getting much information from these neonates, though. Yeah, too lightly wounded from them just running up and swinging, basically. So those are going to be annoying to deal with. Overwatch is probably going to be more useful now. Especially since they need to be close to hit. Hmm. Not bad. We're going to finish this video in under an hour. Or even close to. She's already... They she's already present idle. you. Placed you in a box. Ran tests. All for what you were. And 
dignity. You, the master of this world, forced to swear loyalty to them. They wanted your word, but their own words? <laughs> they mean nothing. You weren't in prison. It was a repatriation camp. Almost sounds pleasant. A place for their hideous offspring to waste their summers. But you, you see the truth. The old world, risen from where we first drowned it. Do not adjust. Do not change. For now, you walk the bonded stair. Okay. This guy who's talking for this one is very, like, seems very cryptic. Uh, I don't really understand what he's saying, but maybe it's because I don't understand the full lore of the game. We're gonna get this money here, and then hopefully be able to have enough money to get the enhanced shotguns when they're, uh, not shotguns, uh, submachine guns when they're done. We switched out Godmother since she doesn't have any more training, and Chael does, so he's gonna be fully trained up in Godmother as well. Um... We're still trying to level up Patchwork and Verge to catch back up with the rest of the team. We have a lot of Illyrium, so we can research pretty much whatever we want to now. Uh, on the team, though, I'm going to switch. I need to go to the Armory. And I need to do you. Loadout. You are not taking that anymore. You're taking the Turncoat Grenade. A Plasma Grenade does 4 to 5. This does 3 to 4. So that... The plasma grenade makes that obsolete, but since this is a grenade, it lets him use it whenever he wants to. It has a radius of 4, but forces all affected enemies to go berserk and view their allies as enemies. Basically, let's, um, it's like having his battle madness, but as a grenade, and since he has it, he can use it uh, a lot more, actually. Claymore regenerates a charge for carry grenades at the end of each encounter. So yeah, he's just going to have more of them, basically. Carrying one with him is like carrying... Three, I guess, depending on how many encounters there are. All right. So, you're being trained. You're doing spec ops. You're gonna finish up the enhanced uh, rifles. We froze this district, so it's not gonna go up anymore. We brought this one back down, so it wasn't super high anymore. Um, and we're gonna do the money one. I think everything else is fine, right? Okay. Abducting humans for genetic experimentation. Those who survive are no longer themselves. This cannot continue. Find them, stop them, and get those people back. Alright, so we know what we have to do now. Field teams plus 90, 65, 65. Is nearly returned to us. A world that wants you to do nothing more than diminish. It will clutch at your potential, pull you down, choke you with lies until you can't see the truth. But we, we can be your guide from these depths, your passage from the tyranny of human rule. All we ask is that you climb. Do not adjust. Do not change. For now, you walk the bonded stair. Interesting. Well, in the next episode, we're going to get into this one. Into uh, Rescue the Outspoken D DJ. Interesting name. So, there's that. And we still have Godmother in here. We're going to go ahead and try and get the Master Crafted Armor. That way we can start taking even less damage and be armored up a little bit more. I don't know what else it's going to add besides extra health. He's coming through here. She's getting us what? Reduced unrest in all districts by one, which we des well, not even desperately need, but we do need that because this one's been sitting at three, and this one's pretty high right now too. So this is really the only uh, issue is the fringe from what happened between the last two, maybe three episodes of just letting it get too high and not uh, taking care of it properly. I can bring down the city unrest, lower city unrest by one plus one if you have ranked two field teams on everything. So it's only going to bring it down by one, so you have no reason to not do that. I'm going to forget that I did that, though. I should have did that yesterday, in-game yesterday, instead of just now. 
Hmm. Oh well. I do watch the end of the videos before I go on to the next one for that reason, just in case I forget and do that. But thanks for watching. Next week we're gonna get into rescue the outspoken DJ and save all the people who are being transformed. Uh thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.